Could Queen Elizabeth II's death be a triggering event for Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex? Royal fans think so. King Charles III and his sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, were part of the procession behind Queen Elizabeth's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall on September 14th. Harry served 10 years in the military, but wasn't wearing his military uniform during the procession due to a decision made by his father. Yahoo News royal expert Omid Scobie weighed in on the uniform decision, tweeting, Prince Harry will not be allowed to wear uniform at any ceremonial events. No doubt a huge blow for the Duke of Sussex, who served for 10 years and spoke of the Queen being his commander-in-chief. In the wake of the decision, a spokesperson made a statement for the Duke of Sussex, writing, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, will wear a mourning suit throughout events honouring his grandmother. His decade of military service is not determined by the uniform he wears, and we respectfully ask that focus remain on the life and legacy of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Some blasted the new king's decision, and one critic tweeted, It's a self-inflicted blow to the royal family, because the entire world is going to watch that funeral and witness that level of pettiness and spitefulness. Prince Harry and Prince William are currently reminding everyone of their most heartbreaking public appearance ever. As the boys walked behind Princess Diana's coffin in 1997, Harry talked about that horrible moment in his Apple TV Plus docuseries, The Me You Can't See, saying, It was like I was outside of my body. I'm just walking along and doing what was expected of me, showing the one-tenth of the emotion that everybody else was showing. Diana's youngest son recalled that he and William were in shock, and now some royal fans are worried that the Queen's funeral is likely a triggering event for him. Harry wrote the foreword for a children's book for kids who lost a parent, Hospital by the Hill by Chris Connaughton. His message reads, When I was a young boy, I lost my mum. At the time, I didn't want to believe it or accept it, and it left a huge hole inside of me. I know how you feel, and I want to assure you that over time, that hole will be filled with so much love and support. In The Me You Can't See, Harry explains why he and Meghan had to leave Britain. At first, he was told he wasn't allowed to leave. The Duke of Sussex went on to say, My mother was chased to her death when she was in a relationship with someone that wasn't white. And now look what's happened. You want to talk about history repeating itself. They're not going to stop until she dies. How bad does it have to get until I am allowed to do this? Or she was going to end her life. In a heartbreaking portion of the video, Harry explained how his family let him down when he reached out for help. Every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, just got met with total silence. Prince Harry's heartbreaking tribute to the Queen shows how special their relationship was. But it will be interesting to see if Harry's relationship with his family heals after the Queen's death.